So I'm going to give some examples of some of the trickinesses of dealing with platinum cure silicone and trying to make it conductive, some good examples. So um, here I have, this is the conductive rubber made with the graphite. Um, but previous attempts just tried to use graphite powder like you would with regular other kinds of conductive rubbers. The tricky thing is that even, um, so I use two different types of conductive powders. There's one that I call thick, and that's just like your regular ground up carbon powder, carbon black, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, and then you can get special made carbon nano powder, which is a really fine grained carbon powder. Both of them just end up turning your goo black, but you can see, while well, they're still liquid, these haven't cured yet. Um, if I dip these in there, um, then we get a good reading, um, and they're very conductive. Uh, same with the even thick carbon. You can see it drops really quick there. But, let me wipe these off real quick. The tricky thing, sorry about this, The tricky thing about working with this carbon powder and these platinum cure silicones, these nicer types of silicones, is that something weird happens when the silicones actually um, cure. So for the regular, the more common carbon powder, um, if you touch it, um, the, they, they become completely insulative um, when they cure, even though this is the same gunk uh, mixed over here. Even if you cut it with some of the carbon fibers that I used to make the silicone conductive, so this is this is the conductive stuff just made with just the carbon fibers, and that becomes very nice and conductive. Um, but if I just mix some of the carbon with it, um, you think it would at most just not interfere, but it's actually nullifying even those carbon fibers that are in there we get a slightly different story with the cured conductive rubber that's made with the carbon fibers and the nano powders. So if you use the nano carbon powders, um, it'll still stay conductive. Um, the tricky thing though is that it's not as conductive as your regular um, chunks of uh, the carbon fiber impregnated silicone. So if I just put two of these in about an inch apart from each other, so this is carbon nano powder um, plus uh, a little bit of the, or the same amount of the carbon graphite fibers, we get something around like 2K of resistance versus if I just take something, uh, I think this chunk is conductive, this is just the straight up carbon fiber with no nano powder added. So this is the same stuff, just not adding what's supposed to make something more conductive. And we jab in our electrodes similarly. Eh. Oh no, this was not a piece that worked. Um, ah. Sorry for this demonstration. But if we take a piece like this, so this is just the uh, carbon fiber in silicone, and we just jab in a couple of electrodes about the same distance apart, we instead get a reading of about 100, and 100 ohms. Um, so you can see it's orders of magnitude different and so it's the carbon is actually somehow inhibiting the conductivity of the silicone. It's less inhibitive when it's mixed with the, the nano carbon powder. The regular common carbon powder completely kills it it seems. Um, but just leaving it out completely gives you the best results which is awesome. So that was a long way of saying don't add carbon powder to platinum cure silicone.